Peace family, welcome back to my channel, Black Sheep Lord with Tarot. And I'm here to do the reading for Leo, which is clear, clearing and cleansing the energy with some Palo Santo. Alright, alright, alright. So, this is your mid-month love reading for Leo. Um, as I was channeling your message, or messages, um, I heard a different few words and the energies that I picked up on was rich and poor. So I'm getting that someone has some scarcity mindset that's going on that could be interfering with their love life. Um, I heard sensitive. So at this time you may be feeling sensitive or the energy around you is sensitive. I heard why. Like why is this happening? I get confused on the things that are taking place or what to do. I heard time. So you're feeling like time is of the essence right now. Something that needs to take place. It's something in regards to the time frame. I heard friends. Scared. Afraid. Tired. <clears throat> Getting that some of you are feeling maybe worn out or drained by these things. Um, I heard night. At first I was like, night? What about the night? But I heard again, night. So something is taking place at night. Maybe you're feeling afraid or scared at night. Um, if you're alone, if you're a single, you know, maybe some, 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 some fear-based mentality is taking place in your energy. Um, I did hear third-party energy. Um, some of you are having mixed emotions. Um, you could have went, uh, went, went through a fight. Um, I don't know if I said crying or not, but I heard fight and I also heard crying. So we're going to go ahead and get into your reading and we're going to see Leo. What is this about? So I was asking for your love, general love messages for mid-month, January 2021. That's if, it's, if it's your sun sign, your moon, your Venus, your rising, your north and note, and Leo, this is for you. Okay. Okay. So some of you are wanting to manifest new love or waiting for new love to happen. A new person has stirred your romantic feelings. If you have not met this new love, then this, you know, is going to come, basically. So, some of you are getting out of this or wanting to leave a third-party situation alone. Y'all, never mind my hair, okay? <laughs> I know, I got this hat on, whatever. But, um, some of you are wanting to leave a third-party situation alone and you want new love. If you're getting out of an old situation, a past situation, it has left you, yeah. <clears throat> Pay attention to the red flags. The signs are cautioning you. So if this is an old person that you've been dealing with or a past person or an ex, you have to pay attention to the red flags. There are a lot of red flags being thrown around. And it got you to the point where you know what you just want to start over. Because there's been some fights. Fight, fights at night or something about at night that's been taking place. This third party situation makes you feel like you're alone in the relationship. Chemistry. There's a strong mag magnetic attraction here, yes. This person that you had you in this third party situation, there's a lot of chemistry. You may feel like this person was your soulmate or possibly your twin flame. Um, there was a lot of chemistry there, but just as much much chemistry was there, there were also a lot of red flags that you probably disregarded because you probably feel as though, you know, you're not flawless. So this person came with their flaws and all, and you accepted it, but there's just been too many red flags. And, you know, of course, this could be, definitely could be a soulmate, but this person kept you in a third party situation or vice versa. Maybe you kept them in a third party situation. But now you want a more solid foundation. And I'm, you know, I'm sensing that you want it with someone new. Yeah. You definitely are wanting to bring something to an end. You definitely are seeking closure.
Okay, so you def you definitely feel like you've been dealing with a snake. You probably have been dealing with the karmic situation, or you've been in a third party with someone who was dealing with a karmic person. But you're ready to leave that alone and go towards true love. Here we have the sun representing you, Leo, with the ring. You definitely could have been dealing with a um, a soulmate. You made promises with this person. Promises that you intended to keep. For some of you, you could have been engaged to this person. Or wanted to get married to this person. But you definitely, this person definitely has you dealing with the karmic. You may, um, you may even live with this person. And I'm getting that that's, this fighting and crying is taking place at home. Um, definitely this person lives with you, yes. You're fighting about an end. You want to you come you want to come to an end with this person. You could be dealing with a Libra or a Scorpio. Strong Libra, Scorpio energy here. Um, some sudden changes may take place. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> you want to communicate to this person that you want to end things. That you want to separate. Some of you may even want to divorce from this person. Yeah. Because I'm, I'm getting legal documents here. An end with this letter. Legal documents. Or someone needs to have legal documents. If you've been dealing with the third party situation, if this person you've been dealing with was married, in order for you to continue, this person's gonna have to divorce that other person. Mm -hmm. You definitely could be living at home with this person. Or oh, that person's living with their person. If this is truly a third party situation. Yeah. You feel like this person, um, you and this person was meant to be. You definitely feel like this is your soulmate or your um, twin flame. Let's get some more information from Spirit about this person. Leah, we want to get more information about your person. Yeah, you could have been dealing with this person for a while now if this person is older than you. Mm hmm Yeah. This person was dealing with a karmic person. This person uh, was dealing with um, a third party situation or they had you in a third party situation with someone that they have been dealing with for a long time. Get some more information about your person, Leo. Messenger. So they are definitely still in communication. And I'm guess that's what you're crying over. That's what you're worried about. They could also be dealing with another person. If this is not someone they're married to, this could be a new person that they could have you in a third party situation with as well. If you are looking towards separating, I'm thinking that you have a new love you're interested in. They have a new love that they're interested in as well. Male or female. Gender, uh, gender specific. Yeah. yeah. Mm -hmm. We have... Sorrow, wife, and pleasure seeker. This person dealt with many other people. <clears throat> Whether if they were married or not, they had definitely had you in a third party situation. Very lust and sexual based. And it has you feeling sorrowful. And this person, um, 
Mm. With this sorrow card here, this person, this person has had their heart broken in the past as well. So with that being said, this person really don't take anyone serious. You may have a child with this person or they have a child with their person. But they don't they don't really take any love situation too serious. They don't take anything to heart. Whoever you're dealing with. I don't know, I'm sorry, I'm just gonna read it how I see. It. I'm getting like the the Queen of Swords, King of Swords type of energy here. You could be done with an air style Aquarius Gemini Libra. Um, but they can be you know, a little shallow and cut off and kind of cold hearted. If you are cross watching your air sign, you're feeling like, oh, well, that's not my energy. That's this person. Then take the message as it resonates. Okay. Yeah. There could be um, conflicts in regards to money as well. Um, I feel like your person overspends. And they kind of place blame. I'm getting to they put, they put the blame on others. They don't take responsibility for the way that they spend their money. Okay. Okay. So let's get your true in regards to your love life, Leo. We have envious. Someone is, is someone is envious in regards to your love life. Now this could be that up uh, that third party person. They're envious of the relationship that you have with their person. Mm. Spirit is saying to meditate, to get out of your head and into spirit about your love life. Winter solstice. So there's during this winter solstice or coming out of this winter solstice, you will you will definitely see changes in regards to your love life. Mm -hmm. It's the energy for me, Leo. What's up? <laughs> What's popping? What's good? What's really good? It's the energy for me. There's a lot of confusion. With that why being presented, we, we don't as human, we don't ask why until some shit happens or something goes wrong. We're like, why? We want to automatically know why from our peers or from spirit, from ourselves, from our higher gods and ancestors. We want to know why is this happening to me? Why am I being challenged in this way? Leo, nothing happens always. You know, take this experience as it is. And what you're meant to learn, you will learn it. Someone is learning a hard, cold lesson. Point blank, period. And I'm getting that this lesson is going to introduce you to your soul tribe. Spirit's been speaking to you, but you ain't been listening. You've been going through something repetitively because you have not been listening. That is why Spirit is saying meditate. You have some envious, jealous, hating ass bitches, hating ass men, you know, on your back, on your shoulders. You be thinking people really riding for you and they not. You be really thinking people are there for you and got your back like they say, but they don't. People are envious. You wonder why shady shit is going on in your love life? Or even with money, people are hating on you. You thinking people are team you because you don't want a popularity contest? Or because people are screaming, shout your name, or talk so greatly in public about you? It's what they say privately, Leos. But this, this energy you're going through, you're getting ready to come up out of. 
during this either this winter solstice or the next winter solstice that come you're coming out of it because you 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 your your spirit is wanting to introduce you to your soul tribe this deck <laughs> and I charged the cards and the crystal inside with my angel calcite but it's so fragile it's calcite and it is so fragile y'all but it's so beautiful at this point I just need to put it in a glass box <laughs> okay so I'm going to use uh, mystic bees Twin Flame, what is this? Twin Flame Conversation and Secrets today. That's the deck I've been holding in here, but I will change it out periodically. I think I'm gonna put the truth deck in there next. Yeah, I keep it charged with that angel crystal. Okay. So, let's get the messages from your person, Leon. The conversation from your person. Thank you. They say my deception for you was my fall from grace. My love, how could you still love me? They know that you still love them. They know that they've done wrong. They know that they were deception. You were dealing with a decepticon. A Decepticon dealing with the karmic person that kept you in a third party situation. I'm hearing liar. Big, big liar. You're dealing with someone who lied, you know, at the tip of their tongue with no remorse, no concern about, yeah, karmic lessons. <laughs> you had to deal with, learn lessons from this person. Okay. Eye contact was when I knew you found me. I wasn't ready. I thought I had more time, so I ran. You were also dealing with the runner. If you only knew how much you mean to me. This person feels like you mean the world to them. Keep your focus on you and all should come to place. They're saying don't focus on their energy anymore. Focus on yourself. What's meant to be will be is the energy I'm getting. Alright, I think I'm going to pull. I'm going to use my own unstable unicorns. I love this little deck, y'all. It's it's a little, um, it was supposed to be like this, it's not a game board, but some type of game, but I saw the images and the words, so I'm like, hmm. How can I use this in my reading? And I love the messages, like, I really do. I have another one that I use. And my, um, no communication, I use this other deck, and it's supposed to be a game deck, but I used it for a reading, and the messages were like, yeah. <laughs> On point, for sure. I'm so sorry, Leo. Like, I was not expecting this from your reading. Well, when I meditated on those <clears throat> messages that came up first, I was like, uh-oh, this is going to be a little heavy. But the cards that came out, I see why. Okay, we have blatant thievery. Blatant thievery. This person has been using you, taking, didn't I say that? But when I put the money card, that someone, what did I say? Someone overspends or does something with their money, but they don't take responsibility. It's because they're a thief. Why would they take responsibility when they, they don't? They plan on thieving from you, anyways. This person is blatantly stealing money as well. They don't just borrow or take money. They they win. You know what you're dealing with, okay? 
You know they're a liar. You know they're a thief. You know who you're dealing with. I'm getting like some of them think that it's okay that they can get away with it. I'm getting like this person has strong lusty energy over you, strong sexual power over you. So it's very easy for them to manipulate you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's not what the cards say. That's what spirits say. Mm -hmm. That's what I'm picking up. Y'all better stop being gullible for these folks. Learn how to put yourself first. Look, you may be the black sheep. You may be the lone wolf. Wherever and however you fit with my tribe. You can always stop. Take responsibility for what you've done. Own up to your shortcomings. That's okay. We all fall short. It's okay, but you don't have to stay stuck in that energy of letting someone use you, manipulate you, lie to you, trick you, deceive you. You can put that shit to an end. Casually and gracefully. Male or female. Chuck the deuces. <laughs> Keep it moving. That's it. I'm not on this channel just to read these cards. Y'all are part of my tribe. Y'all are part of my family. So I take it seriously when my people being done wrong. I have to let y'all know. Hold on. You got a backbone. Stand up for yourself. I don't care if you you have, you know, depression or you feel, I just heard suicidal. If you feel like you don't look good enough, you're not smart enough, or you don't have enough. I don't care if you feel like that. Get up out that shit. Heal whatever needs to be healed. Do whatever you need to do to get yourself straight. You gotta take your power back, Leo. Male or female, take your power back. Sharp with the horn. Yeah, you're dealing with an aggressive person as well. I did, didn't I say? Hold on. I thought I had fear on here, but I do have afraid, scared, and tired. Yeah. Sharp with the horn. You're afraid of this person. Maybe not physically afraid, but you're afraid of what they would do. Or you could be afraid of losing them. There's something that you fear with this person. Sharp with the horn. You're, you're afraid about some, taking a loss. Sharp with the horn. Sharp with a horn. Either this person is aggressive in nature. Or you're afraid to... Okay. So you may have be in a codependent situation. It's okay. People come up out of that all the time. If you, if you have to be a single mother, if you have to be a single father, if you just have to be single. Some people get in, stuck in these codependent relationships, codependent parenthood, codependent marriages, and they get so stuck on being abused that that's all they know. Listen, you're a part of my shop for a reason. Retarget, regenerate, find your focus. You don't have to stay stuck in none of this. Yeah, y'all ain't here for a reason. Y'all thought y'all was just gonna watch some cars get pulled, and I'm gonna I was gonna lollygag and you know keep it light. No, when spirit puts something in front of me, I'm gonna let you know what it is, and I'm also gonna call you out on your shit. So don't don't always you know comment in my messages about how you being victimized. I want to hear some praise reports, damn it. I want to hear that y'all don't bossed up like the real Leos do. Like y'all shine like a superstar, like the real Leos do. Y'all always shine. Y'all always smile. Y'all always up for a good laugh. Y'all not the Debbie Downer type of people. Y'all just not. You know, and I understand when life presents itself, you know, you go through your struggles, you go through your wars, you go through your experiences, but y'all can boss up. It's 2021, it's time to boss up. Your love life, boss up. Hell, I pulled new love. 
right when you're ready for it. Peace, Leos.